Um, first of all, I apologize for being a guy. So, I may not be as inspirational as Alana. Um, I just want to say what a delicious dinner, and let's hear it for the wait staff and everybody in the kitchen. What a beautiful, delicious meal. And uh, uh, also, I love. I, I just want to congratulate Emily's list on on 30 years. Uh, we Saturday Night Live veterans. Uh, think it's just adorable that uh, you've been around for just 10 fewer years than, than our show. So, again, congratulations to you all. It is my honor, and this really is an honor, to introduce Stephanie Shriok, the president of EMILY's List. Um, but before I do, I want to say how much I am going to miss Barbara Mikulski, not right away, she's going to be here for two years. Um, and uh, she said that she doesn't want to spend the next two years raising money, she wants to spend it raising hell, and I am looking forward to that. And I'm really going to miss her because she is the only member of the Senate who calls me Franken. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> so, um, oh, and I got to say something about, uh, about Hillary. I just got to say something. Um, uh, you know, she and, and her husband uh, both came to Minnesota uh, during both my first race in 08, uh, and Hillary came twice, and, um, and, and they both came this time. And actually, uh, the president came right after, uh, you know, uh, about a week after their, their granddaughter was born, and uh, I have a grandson, and this is a great club, and uh, my grandson is now 21 months old, and I've been trying to figure out, and I told the president this, that I've been trying to figure out what he should call me, because I, I called my grand, I had one grandfather, I called him grandpa, but I, I decided it'd be, it'd be fun, it'd be funny, if, I, if he called me senator. And so, don't you think? And, and so, uh, and then so I was trying to think that a, a, a granddaughter calling her grandpa Mr. President is wrong. So I thought, I said to, to the president, I said, uh, POTUS. Have her call you POTUS. And I said, that might be a good name for Hillary, too. So, Shriok, uh, let me just say that if it were not for Stephanie Shriok, I would not be standing before you as a United States Senator. Uh, as you know, uh, probably, Stephanie uh, was my uh, campaign manager for my 2008 historically close uh, race in Minnesota, uh, very few people gave us a chance against a very well-funded uh, incumbent senator who was a career politician. Uh, and it was my first time uh, running as a candidate, running for office, for public office. Um, and after, you know, that was after uh, 37 years as a comedian and a satirist, which, as it turned out, uh, created some unprecedented challenges.
all of which Stephanie had to deal with. Uh, my number one strength, I believe, as a candidate was that I knew what I didn't know, which was pretty much anything about <laughs> running for office, and uh, that my job was to, would be, be to focus on being a candidate, because that's hard enough as it is. And so I needed someone whom I could trust to put together and manage a, um, a huge team uh, of, of human beings <laughs> and manage just all these moving parts, including people and resources, and who could make the day-to-day -day tactical decisions which can win, be the difference between winning and losing a race. And when you win, by 312, believe me, uh, I think about many of the decisions that Stephanie made and went, oh boy, thank you, Stephanie. She was absolutely amazing every step of the way. Shriok exudes calm authority, commanding instant respect from anyone she deals with. I was so proud of our campaign because everybody worked together seamlessly under her direction. Everyone on our team uh, worked tirelessly, were happy, went ahead, worked every day as hard as they could until that election day, and then for eight more months. And we won, and here I am. Now, now Stephanie, after it was finally over, Stephanie went back uh, to, uh, to, to work as uh, Capitol Hill as, as John Chester's chief of staff. And you may remember that in 2006, she ran Chester's campaign and he defeated an incumbent Republican as well. Um, so, then, uh, so then Stephanie uh, came back to Washington and, and uh, was, was Tester's chief of staff. And then at a certain point, he was uh, generous enough to lend Stephanie to Minnesota uh, for my campaign, which lasted a lot longer uh, than anyone uh, wanted. Um, so then, uh, then she goes back to work for, for Tester as chief of staff, and then just a few months later, I get this call from my uh, staff and says, uh, Ellen Malcolm is going to call you and ask you about Stephanie. And I went, this Tester. <laughs> about about running Emily's list, about taking over Emily's list, and so I did. So uh, Ellen calls me, and I said, she asked, "How? What do you think of Stephanie?" I said, "Well, if I were Tester, I'd tell you she was just awful." <laughs> uh, but of course, John's a stand-up guy, and Stephanie uh, took over Emily's list, and again. She's done a magnificent job. Look at this room. Look at this room. Now, what if I told you that in the five years that Stephanie has been the president of Emily's List, that she tripled the membership of Emily's List? <laughs> tripled. Well, she did. It did. It tripled. Twice. Emily's List is now six times bigger than it was when Stephanie took the reins six years ago. <laughs> Admittedly, she had some help from Todd Aiken and Rush Limbaugh and uh, countless other meatheads around the country uh, whose view of certain gender issues 
uh, are somewhat at odds <laughs> with ours. But six times, six times the membership, that comes from masterful strategic thinking. That comes from inspired leadership. That is Stephanie Shriok. Now, with that kind of growth, with that kind of growth, you might expect record fundraising in each consecutive cycle. You might expect that, and you'd be right. In each of the three cycles, Emily's List has set record after record after record. That is Stephanie Shriok. Now, I am not going to name all the women that Emily's List has helped get elected since Stephanie took over. I'll give you one example uh, of someone that Stephanie uh, recruited, um, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Um, of Massachusetts. <laughs> that was Stephanie. Well, Stephanie is leading Emily's List into its fourth decade stronger than it's ever been. That's why she has the respect of virtually everyone in this city and why she is a rock star. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Stephanie Shriok. <laughs>